So now I want to talk about spendthrifts. See, spendthrifts are those people that love to spend and always find a reason to do it. So as soon as they get some money, they want to spend it. They are the people that most marketers love to have in their tribe because every time they launch a new product or services, these groups will buy it. In other words, they're impulse buyers. So let's look a little bit more about this group so we can learn about them. So say goodbye to buyer's remorse because this group doesn't feel it. You see, this population does not feel the pain parting with their money. In fact, having money gives them more pain because their feel good feelings and chemicals are triggered by spending. In other words, spending is part of their feel good coping mechanism that lights up their brain. So what happens about their budget or spending plan? See, this population doesn't believe in having a budget or a spending plan. When they try to incorporate one, they tend to revert to the impulse buying patterns because they get the feel good chemicals from spending. So it may be very challenging for them to keep up with their budget. Therefore, their ability to control themselves in this regard is very limited to what they have available to spend. So what about pricing? See, this population is more inclined to buy at higher prices and may be blinded by their need to spend. Therefore, they do not take into consideration the price as much as their desire of having the product. Their main driving force is their emotions. Unlike others, they would compare their value to price. They may derive value from the actual price because they find the higher cost exhilarating. And again, they attach that at what worth depending on the price of what you're selling. So you might think about selling to spendthrifts. So as you can tell by now, this population is not a hard sell. So I want to go over some pointers. Keep in mind that they're triggered by emotions and how something makes them feel. So data and analytics are relevant for the most part. So using things as images can be a powerful emotional tool and are important for this population. See, many marketers use things like color psychology because it's been shown as a powerful tool to trigger certain emotions. So if you include images and colors and things like that, and even storytelling that really elicits an emotion, this is what's going to get these buyers to buy. I'll give you a perfect example. You know, blue can be a powerful color to develop trust because it signals to the mind trust. So you can learn more about color psychology. You can Google it and learn some of the colors that you might be able to use to help stimulate specific emotions that you're trying to create with your marketing campaign. Thank you.